Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We thank God for all of his many, many blessings that he has given to us. We thank him for allowing us to make it through another week to see another Lord's Day. And, and we just we just rejoice and be glad in him because of who he is. And we just want to encourage you to keep looking to the hills from which cometh our help. We know that all of our help come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Uh, again, we, we're just thankful and praising God for all of his many, many blessings that he has given to us. Today, we're, we're going to look at uh, the, the part of the priestly prayer that Jesus prayed. And, and we really want to know where the Lord's prayer is. John 17 is the Lord's prayer. This is where Jesus prayed, and, and it's so important for us to, to know how to go to him in, 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 in secret prayer, know, know how to have a relationship with him. And as we have this relationship with him, we become so close to him. And so it is very, very important for us to know. Again, this is our summary of the, the church school lesson. However, on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock a.m., you can join us on Zoom. And as you join us on Zoom, you will get the full details of the lesson. Whereas you're just getting a summary now, you're getting the full details on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock on Zoom. Well, today our, our lesson is entitled Intimacy with Jesus. What, what does intimacy mean? means intimacy is is developing a, a relationship so close that that you can't you you can't hardly tell the difference so so if we don't have that relationship with Jesus then then most of the time you don't have an intimate relationship with him you you're not uh, uh intimacy is more personal and so it's so important for us to do that. Intimacy with Jesus. And the point, the point leads us to prayer. And it says, prayer draws us closer to Jesus as our hearts align with his. See, that's a relationship. You, you, you got to develop a relationship in order to, to do to start that bond of, of intimacy. You, you, it, it starts with a, a relationship. And then this has come to us from John 17, one through five and 21 through 26. Our, our first outline, it, it, it tells us, it tells us how, how Jesus Prayed. It says, pray for God's glory to be seen. And, and Jesus himself is praying. He is praying for his glory to be shine, shown. Listen, verse one through five, it says, Jesus spoke these things, looking, looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so that your son may glorify you. Since you gave, you gave him authority over all people so that he may give eternal life to everyone you have given him. This eternal life that they may know you, the only true God 
the one who the one you have sent jesus christ i have glorified you on the earth by completing the work you have given gave me to do now father glorify me in your presence with that glory i had with you before the world existed so so jesus in his first first verse he he he, he made a request of the father he said father glorify your son which is himself so that the son which is jesus can glorify the father okay that that's the first request the next request is since you have given him the authority over all people that they that he may give them eternal life and everyone that god had the father had given him so so it's real important for us to look at that jesus is making a request of the father so that he can do uh, something else and then and then it says this eternal life that they may know you the only true god and the one you have sent jesus christ I have glorified you on the earth by completing the work that that you gave me to do. Pray for God's glory to be seen. So, so Jesus is asking for 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 to be glorified that He may glorify the Father. So that this is the same. So, so it's very, very important that that Jesus receive all glory and all honor that is due His name, because He and the Father is one. And so, so it's very important that we pray for God's glory to be seen. Here are some lasting truths uh, of. John 17, 1 through 5. Jesus prepared for his assignment by having the dis discipline for prayer. We must have discipline for prayer. Jesus prayed for strength to finish the task God had called him to do. We must pray for strength for God to, so we can do what God has called on us to do. And Jesus prayed he would finish the task so that those who believe in him would have life. So it's, it's important for us. Now, the, the, the second outline, John 17, 21 to 23, may they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me so that they may be made completely one with the world, uh, that the world may know, you know, you have sent me and have loved me as you have loved me. So, so what he's saying right here, it says he's praying, pray for unity with God and among believers. So, so right now, he's praying for all who believe in the Son of God, who believe in Jesus. He, he's praying for all believers, okay? May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. May they all, may they also be in us so that the world may believe you sent them. So, so he, he's saying that, look, he's praying for unity in the body of Christ. 
if there's no unity in the body of Christ, there is no unity anywhere. Everybody want his or her own agenda. There is only one agenda, and that is the agenda of God the Father, so that he may lead us to himself. So, so, and, and then, uh, so he, he's praying for unity. Man, don't, we need some unity today. The world is, is not unified with God and not, so it's very, very important for us to be, come together and accept what God has given us and we do what he has called on us to do. Here are some lasting truths from verses 21 to 23. It says, the unity of the church is grounded in a relationship with God through Christ. Unity. Relationship. There it is, right? Intimacy. Relationship. The unity of the church is a dynamic witness of God's love for Christ. Unity. Unity within the body of Christ. And then the unity of the church demonstrates God's purpose in sending Christ and his love for people. The unity. So then we got to have the relationship that we need as a body of Christ to show forth what he has for us. So, so it's very, very, very important. Pray for unity with God and among believers. That, that's the, the second outline. The third outline, verses 24 to 26, it says, Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they will see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the world's foundation. Righteous Father, the world has not known you. However, I have known you, and they have known that you sent me. I made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love you have loved me with may be in them and I may be in them. So, so right, right, the, what we're looking at, it says, pray for God's love to be known and experienced. So that's what Jesus did. He prayed, he prayed that, that he, he, his presence will be known and his glory and all of that. He, he want the people to know who he is and, and who sent him. And, and so it, it, it's, it, it's just very, very, and it's talking about God's love. He loved them. He loved them so that he, he sent his son. And so the love of the father and the love of Christ, who is the son. So it, it, it's important for us to get there. Listen, the, the, some lasting truths some lasting truth. It says, Jesus desires that his followers spend eternity with him in glory. Mm -hmm. Not everyone in this world has experienced the righteousness of, Jesus, of Christ. And as we come to know the Lord, we also began to experience his love. So, so, so intimacy with the Father, with Jesus. When we deal with intimacy with Jesus, we are dealing with the relationship. This is the same type of relationship that Jesus had with the Father. And as we grow intimate with him, we will love him. May God richly bless you.
my beloved.